Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a rundown of the Jennifer Lopez perfume range. She has lots of different perfumes so this is not going to be a short video but it is one that a few of you have been requesting for a while so I have finally got around to doing it. If you're new here then welcome to my perfume world on the internet. Don't forget to subscribe and join my little perfume community here. I'm uploading every week different perfume reviews. If you are a regular viewer then you may notice that today I have my little extra pink wig on. I have been watching a lot of Jeremy Star videos recently and he's just making me feel like so extra and I just saw this in the closet and I was like I'm gonna wear that to film this video so here it is why not. So Jennifer Lopez has been releasing perfumes for nearly 20 years um, and there's been so many different ones I think about 30 but in this video, I'm just going to cover the ones that are still available to buy online. I've scoured the internet and I'm just going to cover ones that you can get. And I'll leave the links to where you can get them down below, um, UK and US links. So without further ado, let's get into it. So her biggest selling fragrance, the one that most people probably know about, is Glow by JLo. This came out in 2002 and was a really big success, probably a bigger success than anyone was expecting. And it is a clean, soapy type perfume. It's the kind of perfume you'd want to spray perhaps when you've just got out of the shower. And the kind of perfume you want if you just want to feel really clean and fresh and neutral. Um, musk is definitely the main fragrance note here. So think Narciso Rodriguez. But then there's a ton of white florals like jasmine, neroli, and also rose in here. And I think it's those floral notes that remind people of that soapiness mixed with the musk. It reminds people perhaps of like a floral soap. There's also a teeny bit of grapefruit that you do get in the initial spray. And I just think this is a very easygoing, fresh perfume. Perhaps if you have a job like a nurse, say, this would be really appropriate. And what's good about all the JLo perfumes actually is that you can get them for really good prices. Um, they're all pretty much maybe between 10 and 15 pounds. Um, they're always reduced, they're always on offer. So really good value if you just want something easy going for work, that you just wanna spray loads and not worry about the cost. Um, this is a really good neutral option. So next we have Miami Glow, which was released in 2005. This is really quite different to original Glow. It's very like fun, lighthearted. It's passion fruit, coconut, and vanilla so think of a sort of uh, vanilla and passion fruit cocktail being drunk out of a coconut on Miami Beach this is very like a party fragrance um, again really good if you wanted to just get this um, for the low price and then just have it in your handbag when you go out like partying or for like a summer fragrance for you to take on holiday like really sort of carefree fruity sweet easygoing Next in 2005 we have Love at First Glow and this is a bit more sensual one. Um, the main note is the rose, so the rose from the original is really amped up and then there's a warm peach note. We then have the white florals of the Jasmine Neroli Freesia and then the musk. So the musk is dialed down and it's letting the rose note dominate. So this is much more romantic, rosy, floral, um, but again, not overwhelming or strong, fairly neutral, but good if you like roses or floral um, and you'd like your original glow to be more of a floral version then this is good for you. So in 2006 we have Glow After Dark and this is back to the passion fruit fruity version of Glow. Along with the passion fruit there's white cherry, there's also patchouli mixed in with the mask which helps this last and have a bit more oomph than some of the others. So again this would be good if you want like a party fragrance. It's probably going to be a bit more intense with that patchouli than Miami Glow. There's also woody and oak moss notes in the base again which will help it last. So this is, yes it's all about the passion fruit again but a little bit more substance to it if you want something a bit more powerful. So in 2009 we get My Glow which is a lavender perfume. There's water lily, freesia, heliotrope, but predominantly the lavender wind. So 
and again quite a departure from the others like much more floral fresh english country garden or south of france like walking into a field of lavender the musk is there and so is the rose but really dialed down to let those lavender and floral notes take over um if you like lavender this is a really cheap and cost effective way of getting it and this is definitely a much more like subtle and soft and feminine version of glow Next we have LA Glow which is potentially my favourite because it's blackberry, it's plum, it's cherry, bit of peony and that musk is there as well. So I love my fruit to the forest, syrupy, sweet um, berry fragrances. This is one of them. Um, that sweetness and that fruitiness I, is a little bit more mysterious than going for the passion fruity pineapple type um, versions and um, I just think this is like fun again good for going out in the night time good if you if you like those like fruits of the forest berry type notes like me and yeah I like this one because it's just a bit different it's kind of a bit edgy and sexy um, but still like sweet and fun so next in 2010 we get blue glow and this is kind of an aquatic watery perfume there's a zesty orange, there's synthetic aquatic watery notes, there's water lily, and this almost has like a cottoniness to it. Um, underneath all that, you still get a little bit of the rose and a little bit of the woody base that makes this like a signature glow fragrance. But predominantly, this is like really clean and fresh. Again, good if you if you want something for work that's very clean and neutral, but still sort of freshens you up. Again, the kind of thing you'd want to spray out the shower and perhaps on a really hot day to sort of lift you. And um, those synthetic aquatic notes are um, really good. It's like imagine what water smells like like a stream like that's kind of what this is like and then finally in 2018 we get enduring glow this has the musk in but then it has some more subtle notes of magnolia and violet and then pear and lychee so it's kind of fruity but it's more like they're there to complement the floral notes and instead it kind of feels like a easy going simple fresh floral fragrance again good if you want something neutral and easygoing you want something a little bit floral but not overpowering then this is like an easy a cost effective way to get that so moving on from the glow range there are a few others that jennifer lopez has so in 2003 we got jennifer lopez still this is predominantly like an earl grey tea fragrance so unusual to have a tea fragrance especially earl grey tea there's jasmine and lily which really help that herbally floral notes that are in earl grey tea a little bit of pink pepper some apple and mandarin which you get in the initial spray rose is here again like it is in glow but this is a, quite a sort of uh, feminine and florally cozy type version um, type perfume that earl grey tea i think is quite divisive like some people love earl grey some people don't if you like drinking earl grey then you'll probably like this perfume um, and again something to just put on perhaps for work or you know just you want something easy going pretty feminine but not over the top in 2005 we got live or live i think it's live and this is basically a pineapple and toffee perfume so this is probably the sweetest and most um sort of like party fruity summary of them all you know you get the pineapple you get that sweet toffee Just imagine like a caramelized pineapple you've then got red currant you've got lemon you've got orange you know all these fruity notes and then underneath vanilla and peony in the base um, so you really get that vanilla-y caramelliness, that sweetness along with the fruitiness and the pineapple really dominate. So good for pineapple lovers and again good if you want something like fun and light-hearted. In 2006 she brought out Live Luxe which is um, of a similar vein but it smells different so instead of pineapple this is all about the melon. So the main notes you get again are fruity, it's melon, peach, 
and pear and then some like jasmine -y white florals in the heart and a simple ambery woody base but predominantly again it's those fruity ones perhaps not as like sharp as a pineapple so if you want something like fruity and fun but you don't want the um you know in your faceness of the pineapple and that caramel then this is perhaps a bit more subtle option but it is still quite fruity and then lastly we have love and glamour this came out in 2010 and it's predominantly a guava perfume. So think tropical, think Latin America. Um, I guess um, Jennifer Lopez is Hispanic. So think those like tropical vibes of, you know, the, the tropics and the equator. Mandarin orange and nectarine hit you in the initial spray. And then you, you start getting the guava come through and then you start getting the water lily, that fresh um, summer, floral scent like very tropical rainforest type vibes like guava is a very tropical fruity smell and um, so this really does feel like a like a fresh zesty tropical perfume and um, again fun nice pleasant and um, a good way to get your sort of tropical easygoing fix so that's it of my rundown of the JLo perfumes. Let me know if you've worn any of these or which is your favourite um, in, down in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this video and want to see more of the same. But that's it. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.